Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, February 8th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I value the vibration of love. And today we're building to this full moon in Leo energy. Technically, for most people in the world, it will be on the 9th for Pacific time and like Alaska and Hawaii, it will be late on the 8th, but I'm going to do it in tomorrow's scope before we reach the peak of the full moon. So do not worry about that. Today, it is kind of about riding that vibe towards the full moon. Full moon in Leo. How can you access the full lit expression of your inner child, of love, of joy? How can you bring in that vibration? With Aquarius energy, we tune into vibration. So what brings you that feeling of the vibration of joy, the vibration of love? What makes you your inner child happy? Like my inner child sees lights on that salt lamp and is like, oh, I like it. Just that little thing will like boost me up, you know, several notches. There's more than that, but how can you tune into that energy? I think that's working really strongly. We don't have too much going on, but what we do have go going on, it does align with that. One big thing, Venus is approaching Chiron. So we have Venus newly in Aries, Venus in Aries ready to be independent, um, go for it kind of energy, like head first, <laughs> trusting the self. Um, Venus meeting up with Chiron. There is healing for the yin in regards to taking action. Now, to be fair, the yin has been silenced. It has been uh, hung. <laughs> Throats have been slit. It has been suppressed in so many ways. And so many, no matter where we fall on that gender uh, spectrum, the yin is still suppressed and the yin is still going through various forms of suppression in this world. And so we all have healing to do. We all have work to do around the worth of the yin energy. So do be aware of this coming up and how can you value, honor, love, the yin energy that you carry, the part of you that is feeling, the part of you that is compassionate, the part of you that is intuitive, even if you don't like what your intuition is saying, even if you don't like how you're feeling, it's a very important part of you. The yin energy, it also connects to chaos and things that are not planned. That doesn't necessarily go over very well in this world. And yet, how can you embrace that? And again, find trust in the unfolding of this energy. <clears throat> Mahalo has something to say about that. It is a maturity process to be able to find that balance, that harmony in this yin and yang energy. So be very aware of that as we build into this conjunction. We're not there yet, um, but it's interesting that it's happening at the same time as this full moon Leo energy. The other thing that we have going on, which I think, again, is feeding into this, we have Mercury in Pisces connecting to the North Node in Cancer. So our intuition is being like awoken, <laughs> peaking a little bit. Um, and, you know, North Node in Cancer, North Node energy is like, go this way. This is towards your destiny. So this is a call of ultimate trust. Be here now and be willing to fall in line, trust your intuition, um, move forward in that direction. I told you my story about this move a few days ago and it very much was that process of like, I'm trusting this even though there's weird things, there's weird feelings in regards to this. So I'm not saying ignore those weird feelings. By all means, listen to them. But then, what is that higher calling of your intuition at this time? Can you listen to it? Can you let the, the universe basically guide you through your lessons, guide you to where you're meant to be, guide you into your destiny? So be very tuned in to this energy. Um, the last final thing coming up, projections. I have the projections card in reverse. Be aware of 
the illusions, the illusions of others, the illusions of the I know better <laughs> from others that could come up uh, and take you off your path. How do you find trust in your personal path? How do you light that up? How do you love the path that you're on? Where you're on it right now, whether it feels great or not, can you love the lessons? Can you uh, vibrate strong on that level? All right, somebody's coming in my door. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, you can book a reading with me. Email me, MimiClark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you 100% do have the power. Namaste.